everyone, it's Mel from Melamory Nursery. <clears throat> I am back with this little fella that I opened up in my box opening yesterday. And this is the Gabigail Asleep by Claire Taylor. <clears throat> and I hope your Saturday is going fantastic, everybody. I really do. Uh, my video is up a little bit late this morning. And it's because I did film a video for yesterday from yesterday for today but I to be honest with you I didn't quite like the video so I was kind of pondering whether I posted that video or not and in the end the or not uh won out so um yesterday I put him in this uh red outfit I got from Simone with the jacket and the booties that came with him in his box opening and uh Simone also sent this little moose called Maple and Let's make sure you see it. It's really cute. And I'm just going to change him into something really simple. And uh, it also came with him in the box opening, which is this uh, blue and white striped outfit with the pockets. And I want to kind of see how that works out on him. I'm not going to worry about anything on his feet because I love the Reborns barefooted. And um, it's warmed up a little bit again today, so I, I just thought you know, showing off his 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 showing off his limbs would be a nice thing to do as well. Um, I want to thank you guys all for your comments on this little fella. He looks spectacular in red, actually. Uh, it, you know, and and. You know, uh, when I was speaking that about his name being Christopher, so many of you love that name. <clears throat> and so I think I'm definitely keeping Christopher as his first name. And then I had a ton of suggestions for middle names, which I thank all of you so much. So I am probably going to go with um, two middle names for this little fella. Um, one, because all of you, like there was quite a few of you that suggested one of them. And um, look how cute he is in red. And he just suits red so well. And the other one, because it was my grandfather's name. And that name is really meaningful and very old fashioned. And I really, really like it. So we're going to get this little guy down out of this red. So yeah, the video that I had uh, pre-recorded for today, that normally I post really early in the morning, it was like quite a long video. And, um, and there was just something about it that I didn't like. So... Um, I decided not to go that route and I I had to rewatch it a couple of times and normally I'll rewatch it and then I'll just post it and and that's how it it kind of goes but um <clears throat> excuse me um but like I said it, the, the the video just didn't I don't know it just didn't sit right with me so this was his onesie that he had come home with under his uh, blue, baby blue sleeper. And he is so cute. He is absolutely adorable. So today is a special day in the sense that today is the fourth word, folks. This day has a fourth word, the final word. Um, of my word game and um, the word is hope and I need everybody who's been playing along in the word game to write in the description box below a sentence a full sentence with the word hope um, and I can already see it I hope you have a good day <laughs> But I'm hoping that you'll, you know, use that word, you know, 
in a variety of different ways. I mean, you can use it any way you want, as long as it's a complete sentence. Um, and then uh, I will close the contest uh, Sunday night. So tomorrow night, I'll close the contest and um, I will get a hold of the winner um, because I had mentioned previous times that this will be a private draw. I'm not going to do it publicly for my own personal reasons. And I will get a hold of who I, I, I know to be the winner or choose to be the winner or pick to be the winner or however I choose to do the draw on my own time. Um, I will get a hold of that, that individual for their address and um, that way I can send out the prize. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. And um, and so that is the fourth word. Finally, I know many of you have been patiently waiting. I thank you so much. Um, so if you're new and if this happens to be the very first video that you're, you're ever viewing, um, in order to be a part of this particular contest, I suppose, you have to be a subscriber. There are four different videos. Uh, the marker was the video of the box opening of clothes that I did from Tracy uh, when I asked Tracy to purchase me clothes from the UK. Um, and there are four different words since, since that particular video to today. And in each one, I require a whole sentence to be written. Oh, he's so cute. Um, on the word in the video that I give. And I've decided, even though I did in my last video, I was showing, you know, some of the prize. I've decided not to show the prize. Um, because I, I, I think for me, I just want it to be like a mystery. He's cute, isn't he, in this outfit? He's all boy, this one. All boy. Very, very cute. So my last video was like 27 minutes long, and this one I'm noticing is only like a few minutes long. So, um, unfortunately, I, I don't know, like I... I had lots more to say in my other video, but it, 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 I don't know, it just seemed really kind of dramatic to me. <laughs> like, and, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have been uh, posting a video a day for, for quite some time, so there are some days where I like to talk a lot and other days where I don't like to talk a lot. But this little guy's name is Christopher John Irvine. And Irvine was, pardon me, now I've got hiccups, oh my goodness. Um, John was something that you all uh, were suggesting. And I actually have uh, had, pardon me, an Uncle John who had passed away some time ago. Um, and Irvine is a very old-fashioned name, and that was my grandfather's name. And I was very, very close with my grandfather. Um, my grandfather and my grandmother had a farm, and I spent a lot of time on the farm, quite a lot of time on the farm. So this little guy here is Christopher John Irvine. Let me just set him up so you guys can see him all a little bit better. So that is his little outfit there. He almost looks like he should just be laying down because he's so like zonked out. So I'm going to lay him back down because he does look so zonked out. Get you guys in the camera there. So yeah, that is my short and sweet video today. And I know it's not very long, not, not for... Not for me, but um, 
you all now have the, the fourth word. And um, like I said, I'm going to close the contest tomorrow evening, um, probably 9 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, because I live on the Pacific Coast. And um, I will get a hold of the winner um, for your address um, within a few days of that point. Um, giving me enough time to go back and check my other videos to make sure that uh, I've included everybody in the draw and, um, you know, people have had a chance to go and search for those videos, which, you know, it, it was sort of embedded in the videos so that the people who watch the videos um, and commented the most often really, you know, were the ones it was targeted at. And I know that sounds kind of unfair if you're new to my channel. I know that sort of does, but, um, you know, I am giving you a chance now and the marker now, which was the, the box opening and um, with the close, which is the second, if you go back to my videos, it is the second, um, it was about a month ago. And there are two boxes uh, in the little um, the little photo boxes for the the video. I forget what they're called. Um, and it's the second one, so that's the beginning of the contest. And then there were two other videos, and then this video. So, and each one had a word. And what I'd asked in each video is that uh, a whole, a complete sentence be written on the um the word so folks very very short video today um mainly because i am swamped <laughs> quite busy i'm looking at this little guy's feet he's got very unique feet my goodness very happy with this sculpt very happy with this sculpt so thank you ever so much for watching again today, folks. Sorry this video is short. Um, but I do hope that you have a great and wonderful Saturday. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.